Hello everyone. Firstly, apologies for any rumbles that are going on in the background. I've got construction happening nearby. Um, here is a video on how to factory reset these Zyxel Multi M1 devices, wireless, wireless mesh whole home type devices. On the back of the router, surrounded by a big red ring, is the reset hole. You'll need a paper clip or something similar to put into that hole and I will let you know when I'm going to press it and you can also see what the lights on the front of the router do. So I'm going to put it into the hole and tap it now and then let go. Nothing happens. So you can't just tap the reset button. Even if I hold it down probably for one second it might cause the router to reboot but it's unlikely to reset the settings. So you need to put the paper clip in and hold and you'll see what the lights do. So I'm going to press it now. That was five seconds and then I'm going to let go. After the five seconds this light changed colour and then started flashing and now it's starting its boot up process again. So, in summary, to factory reset this, hold down the reset button on the back for five seconds. If this is until the light flashes on the front. If this has been helpful to you, that would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. This video will carry on so you can see how long it takes to boot, and I'll let you know when I can see it as a wireless network. So I'm going to be looking for a wireless network that's called uh, Endigen 934. These things do take a really long time to boot up, so this still flashing is not unusual. I do see Zyxel 934 in my list and it's guest Wi-Fi as well, so at this point it is now factory reset. It's still flashing away because it's probably still doing something. Oh, there we go. Now it's, uh, it's ready to go through the adoption process where you add it as a, uh, an, an additional satellite to an existing setup or if you download the multi app uh, you can also configure it as a router or as the first one of part of a mesh setup. If this video has been helpful to you it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.